What's going on guys? Today I want to do a quick review of this infrared electric grill. In this review I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this thing here and I will also let you know one thing I think that you should know before buying. So we got this grill. This is actually uh, for my nephew. So he's come over, I think we've used it probably two or three times now um, and cleaned it up a little bit for this review, but we used it probably two or three times with him around just to kind of show it to him. Uh, he's getting in his first apartment and he wasn't able to have any charcoal burning uh grills or anything like that but he loves grilling so i said hey let me look into it and this is what i decided on so yeah this is the uh the actual grill here the grate it's not on or anything and i apologize for some of the stuff on here there's still some stuff we tried to clean it up really well but anyway um so this is the grill itself it has the main grate here and then it has kind of a side grate you can remove this if you want to it's really easy you just basically pull it up uh, that you can pull out that obviously can cook food or you know keep food warm whatever uh, but it really operates like a standard grill uh, it's a little bit weird one thing that i thought was really strange so they have the temperature gauge here which is nice right but then they have just numbers here and my thought was why didn't you put the numbers here down here but what i found out is basically one when you have it on one it'll reach 150 and that goes two, three, four, five. And you can see there's two, three, four, five here as well. So just like any grill, you guys, basically you open it up, you turn this on and it shows this little thing will turn red when it's on, right? You turn that on uh, and then you cook, cook on it and everything. And then the grease trap, they do have one. It's right down here, this little guy here. Uh, but basically works just like any standard grill. One thing that I did notice on it uh, and they, they discussed this, but it's absolutely true. So you know how if you're on a uh, charcoal grill or like a gas grill, sometimes you'll get flare ups, like the heat will flare up because you know, a bunch of oil or whatever falls down. That doesn't happen here. And it does really cook the food evenly. I was really skeptical um, just cause, I mean, we have the infrared thing here, but I was really skeptical about it because it said that they um, don't have any cold spots, right? So there's basically a little coil that wraps all the way around. I was surprised here too. They have some here, but I was kind of surprised and I wasn't sure if it would actually be, you know, no cold spots warm all the way around. And it really is, which kind of shocked me. I thought that that would be one thing that they said, but it wasn't really true. So when you put the food on here, what's really nice is that it does cook evenly all the way throughout the entire grill, anywhere that you put it. Um, obviously here it'll cook less because it's off the, uh, off the heat a little bit, but yeah, it definitely, definitely does cook a good steak. We've had some burgers on here as well. So in terms of the grates themselves, they say that they're rust resistant, uh, not necessarily rust proof. So I don't know exactly what that means yet. Like I said, we've used this. We haven't used it a, you know, for years or anything. So I don't necessarily know exactly how that's going to work out, you know, a couple years down the road. But I will say we actually, well, right now anyway, we're keeping this indoors. Um, and we're in a warm climate anyway, where it doesn't rain too often. So it might not be an issue here anyway with us. Um, but so far with us, obviously it's been fine. You know, if you live in a climate where it's cold or can be really wet, you know, it might make sense to get a cover or something for this thing. So yeah, guys, overall testing this out with my nephew, I have been pretty impressed by it. I was surprised at how good the food came out. Uh, so definitely good from that perspective. That said, there is one thing you need to know, right? So when you get this, my thought was is that, hey, maybe it'll come like, top and bottom and you don't have to do too much assembly that is wrong um, it's not necessarily hard to assemble but it just takes a little bit of time i think it took us about i'm gonna say 30 minutes 45 minutes to put this thing together but basically the legs this little grill here um, this is assembled right here this has to be put on so you essentially are assembling this whole thing uh when you actually or after you actually get it so that took a little bit of time that was like a kind of an unpleasant surprise but it's not the worst thing in the world i mean you do it once and you're good but uh, yeah, overall, if you're considering it, we definitely like it.